Hey everybody! What's up, what's up? Hi, hi. We um, thought we'd better get on early because we're heading out to see some friends tonight. So um, we had better do it now or else it will not happen. But that's the reason we look sexy. <laughs> can't be helped, can't be helped. But we wake up like this. <laughs> so tonight's conversation is really, um, we, we almost both like went against it immediately. As soon as we found out the topic, we were like, oh. Well, we don't really have that, but um, the topic is regrets, which is really interesting because I personally feel like so many people spend way too much time regretting mm. things rather than relishing, enjoying, being curious, creating, and, and being spontaneous. They get regrets about the past, which mm -hmm. I think hinders them from truly enjoying their experience and being fully themselves. 100%. I, I think the thought that we had a little chat about earlier in this regard is anything you could possibly regret is in the past. Mm. Don't let the past hinder on your present now because anything, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's good, bad or indifferent, don't spend too much time on it. Now, if you regret something, that means you're wasting energy on that particular moment. If it's good energy, yes, yeah, sometimes it's nice to reminisce about it. But at the same time, don't live there. The idea is to live in this present moment. I also come to that point as well that for any single circumstance to happen, it's not just millions of little miniature circumstances that have happened to get you to right now where you are touching your phone, doing whatever it happens to be. This is billions and billions of circumstances. This comes right back to your great 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 grandparents had to meet at exactly the right time and have sex at exactly the right time and the same time as if you have a partner or anyone else. For Shana and I to meet, our parents had to have been having sex at the same time for this to happen mm -hmm. at that right time, things. not the same time. So everything has actually happened legit at this present moment. Mm -hmm. The reason I go back through this is if you're regretting anything, you're regretting what has made you who you are now. Mm -hmm. What I sort of look at is, yes, of course there is things that we're not proud of, mm -hmm. but don't regret it. Don't take it back. You have done things in the majority of the time in the best manner you possibly could have with the knowledge and information you had at the time, mm -hmm. which is growth. That's how we grow. We learn, we make mistakes, we grow. Yes, we all have, and I will be the first to own it, and I think this is the purpose, and the best part of this is own it. Mm -hmm. Have you hurt people in your life? Own it. Don't, don't live there. Own it. I've hurt people in so many ways, and I don't, I'm not proud of it, but I don't regret it because that has helped me possibly help them in, in some different yeah. back to front you way never, as well. You never know the ripple effect of everything and that's one thing I, I get I do get a lot of clients to get stuck in remorse about their life mm. and regret about their life and I'm like and then they sit in this puddle of of anxiety and regret and 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 um, depression because they're they're sitting in this space where they they're all they're thinking about is regretting all the things. Mm. But if you remind them that actually if you didn't have this thing and you didn't go to the next thing and you didn't go to the next trauma, if I look back over my childhood and my whole life, if these things didn't happen to me in the way they did, or didn't, sorry, reframe that, if these things didn't happen for me in the way they did, in the circumstances and the progression that they did, I would not be the human I am today. And I'm pretty freaking proud of the human mm. I am today, to be honest. Like, and that's not egotistical. That's me going, I'm a freaking awesome human. I'm here having an experience. I'm here doing the best I can. Yes. And if I'm there to regret the past, regret the person or the things that happened to me in the lower versions of myself or in the past versions of myself, then I am just, I'm, I'm stealing my ability to fully celebrate the human I am today. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to wake up every day and celebrate your humanness. Yes, celebrate yes. who you are. Celebrate your achievements. Celebrate the fact that the things you did in the past are in the past and now you're in the present moment. How are you going to choose to move forward? This is all part of evolution. That is the biggest part of the evolutionary chain that we're a part of. And I don't care who you are. Evolution is real. Maybe not in the sense that scientific say how it's made or whatever else. We are evolving. It's as simple as that. You are growing. You grow up. That's part of evolution. You're getting, to, however, you're getting older. That's part of evolution. Part of the evolution that we're doing is becoming better people. Mm -hmm. Things to reflect on and go, geez, I remember the way that made me feel. So sometimes you don't have to forget about it, but regretting it, I don't think serves you in any way. Relish and go, geez, I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done, but it has made me the person I am today. And as we say, for me, I love me. And I think this is something, you, know, you don't have to love me. No one else has to love me. 
but I've got to be with me my whole damn life, so I mm. may as well love me. Go, you know what, we've made some massive mistakes, we've hurt some people, we've done some stupid things, we've, whatever it is. Whatever it is. But be, be, don't have to be proud of it, but do not regret it. Mm. Do not live with that and carry that burden. It is one damn lot heavier if you have to carry it. Mm. I, I just love that whole circumstance. And um, there's a little conversation about two Zenith monks and they're walking up through the mountains and uh, one of them, they come across a stream and there's this old lady there and she says to one of the monks, can you please carry me across the water? And he goes, no worries. So he carries, picks her up, puts her on his back, carries her across, goes back over the other side to get to Blong, carries her back across the other side of the stream. And they're walking for hours and one of the monks says to the other one, can you believe the audacity of that old woman to ask you to carry her stuff, to do this and to do that and the other? And he goes, what are you even talking about? And he goes, that old woman. He goes, oh, you're still carrying that. I put that down hours ago. Mm. It's not so heavy if you don't have to carry it. Yeah, Let you it go. You choose to carry it. Yeah. And that was, he was like, the, the point of that conversation is some people will carry this. He didn't even do the load. It was mm. from somebody else. It's a condition of your mind. Regret is something in your mind. Mm. Mm. It's not real. It's not now. The only thing that truly exists and the only thing you can own is this moment with awareness to be able to make the coming moments better. Mm. I think, yeah, so if you can reflect on your life right now, are you, are you feeling heavy? Are you feeling burdened? Why are you choosing to feel that way? And mm. when are you going to choose to put the burden down, yes. lighten your load and move forward in the greatness that you're meant to? Stop living in the past, stop carrying shit that does not serve you and allow yourself to be free. Yeah. You are the one that gets to choose that. And that is 100% the choice. Don't, don't let anyone tell you that they're in bad circumstances and they don't get to choose their happiness. You get to choose it. Yeah. And some of the best days I've had have been in the shittiest circumstances. I've had mm -hmm. some most absolutely amazing days where you've bogged up to the axles and there's mud everywhere and you've got mud up to your waist and then someone throws mud and something happens. You, you have the opportunity to choose whether to be... Oh, or choose whether to be sad. And a good friend of mine in India... He said, this is perfect. He said, there's two ways to look at life. Everybody hates me. Everyone hates me. Yes. Mm. You can be liberated or you can live in your shit. Yep. It's up to you. And that choice is yours. Your choice. That's perfect. Mm. I think that's it. That's it. Regrets. Don't hold them. Let them go. Move forward. Move fast. Yeah. Move fast in life. The, the heavier the thing, the, the bigger the burden, the bigger the... the um, the regret. The bigger the awarenesses we have and the faster we move through them, the faster we get more and more better things. So yeah. transition quickly and, and stop fretting the small stuff. A very wise man once said, your choices today define your tomorrows. So with awareness, you can choose to make those better choices now. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Woohoo. See you.